What was the second way that we said we could find an equivalent fraction? It's kind of, yes, great job. It's the opposite of multiplication. It's division. So when we were using multiplication, that means we were cutting the pieces and making them smaller so we'd have more. In division, we're actually going to be putting the pieces together and kind of making less. It's the same process, guys, but you're just doing the, uh, like the reverse of it. And I remember we, we talked about how when you use division, it's that club idea. Uh -huh. So what club can 2 and 4 both go into? Or what number, when you skip count, do you say 2 and 4? Besides 1, because 1 will work for every number. So if I count by fives, am I going to say two and four? No, five, no. ten. No, I already missed Just them. Just think. Okay, if I have five, if I got handed out to five people, but we only have two of these, is everyone going to get an equal amount? No. no. So we already know two can't. Same with four. We're going to be one short. Think about it. You got to be able to share equally. Each of them have to fit into that number perfectly. So how many plates? Ten dough. Let's count by eights. Ready? Eight. Sixteen. Oh, I'm already past it. Yeah, you can't go past these numbers. These, this is your end game. So it's... Madison. Two. Two. Four. Oh, both of the numbers fit in it. Two cookies. Two plates. Two cookies, two plates. How many cookies are going to be on each plate? One each. Cookie, cookie. One plate, two plates, one cookie, two cookies. Now you get four cookies, two plates. Melody? Two. Awesome. So we know that two-fourths is equal to one-half. Exactly. Good. And guys, with division, too, if we have what Mr. Adamson had there, uh, the one, uh, the two-fourths, two-fourths, and we divide it by two, divided by two equals uh, one over two, you should be able to go back and check your work to see if you're our, if you're right, you should be able to multiply these two. Two so times I'm two. I'm have you stop for just okay. a second because we have people who aren't even paying attention right now. Oh no. Adonis, is this a good time? Here's my question: Will the person who didn't watch the Packer game know the final score? No. Would a person who watched the Packer game, or not, if a person didn't watch the Packer game, could they tell you how they scored their points? No. no. Yet you ha well no you have to be part of it to learn it. You know that that's like here's my last comparison. You know last night I slept in my garage. When I woke up this morning I wasn't a car. Please don't think you're going to become a math student just by sitting in a math class. You're not. Just sitting in a math classroom does not make you a math student. You have to participate. You have to be engaged, Chase. You have to quit goofing around with Riley Janelle right now. You have to be engaged, please. Okay? So, we want all of you to be successful, but you have to give your best effort as well. So, going back to M yeah. Mr. Lencher said about checking. Okay. So, if, we're, if, we, uh, if we get a fraction and we're just like, I don't know if it's right, like, I'm not totally sure, check it. You can multiply these. Multiply. One times two should equal two. Two, two times two equals four. You can do that every time, guys. Every time. So don't get that. You should never be like, oh, I'm not sure if I have the right answer. Because you can always check it. Okay? Because I know division sometimes can get tricky. I get that. But check it. It doesn't matter what numbers. You can check it. Julius. Um, I think I want to get married. Did you say that? Engaged to, like, the math thing. No, no, Julius, we're talking about math, okay? Okay. No, he wasn't talking about that. Okay, 
Here's a challenge. What can we use to make this smaller? What can we divide by? Let's, let's start at the bottom. Let's start with 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh. Out the window. What is it, Michaela? 3. 3, Three 6, 9, 12, 15. Bingo. And once again, guys, you have these charts in your beautiful notebooks that you guys spend a lot of time. That's a remember, don't forget that tool. Yep. Look at those numbers. If you look on the three, you'll see the numbers yeah. six and fifteen. So how many times do we have to skip count by three to get to six? Three, two. six, how many? Two. Two. Let's continue. Three. Nine. Twelve. 15. How many times did you have 3, to skip 6, count? 9, 12, 15. Five. Do you use Mr. Lencher's advice? 2 times 3 is? Six. 5 times 3 is? 15. Winner. 6 fifteenths is equal to 2 fifths. And I think it's going to help you guys a lot. Like when you're like, okay, how many times did I have to count that? And you accidentally put a 4 here, and you're like, Oh, 4 times 3, that's 12. I must have miscounted that a second. Okay, so I know it must be a... I know I have to recheck my work, okay? So it's a good self-reflection thing, reflecting back on our work that we've done, okay? What do you have a question for you? If I said we were going to go on a field trip, we were going to go bungee jumping on our field trip. I would certainly hope that the person putting the harness and putting those bungee cords on you double checks to make sure it's yeah. right. Yeah. Double checks those clips to make sure they're closed. Double checks your weight maybe to make sure that he or she is using the proper number of cables or the proper cables to keep you safe. Treat math the same way. Double check. Make sure you're right. What's Mr. Adamson's motto in his class? Check. Check, recheck, check it again. There it is. And it should be a model for every student. Okay. You're going to have about 10 minutes.